Hi there guys and welcome to Dino's Vault once again. Today I'm checking out the all new Ford Figo, the 2015 model. The Ford Figo was first launched in 2010 and was an instant hit because it happened to be the only subcompact hatch from Ford for the Indian market. It came across as an ideal package for the masses offering a perfect balance between performance and economy. With the competition really heating up more than ever before and us Indians also evolving to become more mature and knowledgeable buyers, Ford had decided that it was time to get themselves noticed in the hatchback segment yet again while taking the Figo franchise to a whole new level. Ever since the Figo Aspire was launched, we all knew it was only a matter of time before the new Figo surfaced and finally the wait is over as we see the all new Figo is here and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Design wise it seems to be inspired by the design of the Ford Focus and the Ford Fiesta hatch that is available that are available in the European market. For those who have seen the Figo Aspire it is more or less the same Figo Aspire minus the boot. However, I absolutely love the way the design has come out. It looks fresh, new age and it looks really powerful. The headlamps have a cute appearance to them whereas the open mouthed front grille uh, looks nice and aggressive and powerful. The front bumper gets a sporty design along with neatly embedded fog lamps and uh, the bonnet lines on the hood further add to its powerful persona. Coming to the profile, we get prominent character lines shooting across the body that look great. We get sporty uh, alloy wheels uh, for the top end uh, model and body color door handles along with uh, outside rear view uh, mirror mounted turn indicators. Coming to the tail section, we get a perfectly designed tail lamp cluster and what I really like about the Aspire as well as the Figo is the rear section looks very well done because usually when we have hatch based compact sedans, only one of the designs end up looking good. Either the hatch looks good or the sedan but this is one of those rare cases wherein both the designs have come out really well. The Figo has killer looks irrespective of whichever angle you choose to look at it from. On the inside, we get single tone uh, charcoal black interiors with the Luna grey applique that are soothing to the eyes. The central console is the same as that of the Aspire and looks nice and futuristic. The instrument cluster is well lit up and carries all the necessary info in the multi-information display like distance to empty, gear shift indicator etc. The steering is perfectly sized, offers great grip and uh, we do get uh, the regular audio and phone controls on it. The central console also looks uh, really snazzy and uh, uh, radical we get a 4.2 inch display with sync technology which allows you to sync your apps music etc and also offers voice command support the infotainment system comes with cd and mp3 player fm radio it offers bluetooth connectivity has usb and aux input and we get four door speakers all around that sound decent enough the seating has to be best in class undoubtedly because uh, we get Ford's trademark low slung seating posture and we have adequate back support as well. Uh, I felt really comfortable and felt like pushing this car to the limits almost immediately as soon as I uh, took the driver's seat and that is the kind of feel you get when you find yourself in the driver's seat of this car. The storage spaces are also well thought out. We get bottle holders on the front two doors and cup holders wherever necessary. We also get a spacious glove box. At the back the cabin is nice and roomy. We do get plenty of uh, leg room and knee room and uh, decent headroom. Three normal size adults should be able to feel comfortable at the back. Other noteworthy other noteworthy features include uh, features like keyless entry, guide me home lamps, electrically adjustable and foldable outside rear view mirrors, tilt steering, driver seat height adjustment, automatic climate control and uh, the cabin cooling is very effective and you don't feel the lack of a rear AC vent and that has been almost the case with most of the Ford vehicles I guess. The electric boot release button on the dash uh, it looks cool and uh, functions really well so that's a new addition. Uh, also you get something called Ford Mikey that we found on the uh, Aspire. Uh, it enables you to lock the speed of the vehicle thereby ensuring complete control of your car even when your car finds uh, itself in others hands. And it also allows you to control the music volume level of uh, for the music system in your car. You also have something called perimeter alarm. Uh, so when the car detects someone trying to enter the car forcibly, it triggers an alarm and activates
activates the theft indicator on the instrument panel while flashing all the uh, lights together like the front uh, headlamps as well as the rear lamps in the middle two variants we get something called my Ford dock which uh, holds your mobile or mp3 player or navigation device in place and allows you to integrate it with your car's infotainment system and engine options uh, talking about the engine options we get two petrol engines and one diesel engine to choose from first up we have the 1.2 liter petrol that puts out a maximum power of 88 ps at 6300 rpm and 112 newton meters of torque at 4000 rpm and uh, i believe it comes made it to a five speed uh, manual gearbox then we have a 1.5 liter petrol that puts out a maximum power of uh, 112 ps at 6300 rpm and 136 newton meters of torque uh, at 4250 rpm and it comes uh, made it to six speed uh, dual clutch power shift automatic gearbox and it should drive like a dream i haven't driven it but i expect it to drive really well and finally we have the showstopper the 1.5 liter tdci diesel engine that puts out a maximum maximum power of 100 ps you heard it right 100 ps of maximum power at 3750 rpm and listen to this 215 newton meters of torque between 1750 and 3000 rpm and it has just as much power as some of the sedans out here in the indian market and the torque is even greater than that of a honda city it comes made it to a five speed gearbox and talking about my test drive experience with the new figo ford are all set to literally make a powerful statement when you have the world's best rally driver and gymkhana fame ken block driving the ford fiesta you can get an idea as to what uh, as to why ford has earned the name of making some of the best driver's cars in the world i drove the diesel variant and the car literally flies off the mark there is so much of power and excitement on offer off the mark that you are forced to turn on the racing mode within you the gear shifts are buttery smooth the clutch is super light the electrically assisted power steering works like a charm within the city limits and the 4.9 meter turning radius just makes it even better the engine is an absolute driver's delight the nvh levels are virtually non-existent when it comes to performance i have to admit that an all new benchmark has been set by the ford figo especially with the diesel variant the all-round cabin visibility too is decent enough uh, despite its sleeker uh, rear uh, section talking about the braking power you get disc brakes up front and drum brakes at the rear brakes are very good and offer good feedback talking about the suspension setup we get independent mcpherson strut up front with an anti-roll bar and gas filled shock absorbers at the rear the suspension is absolutely spot on it is not too soft not too uh, stiff uh, ride quality is great and there is very minimal body roll apparent and talking about the safety features available on on board the new figo we get uh, first of all the body structure is made of high strength steel to absorb maximum impact thereby ensuring maximum safety of the passengers who are within the cabin and uh, you also get other regular safety features like abs with ebd six airbags uh, you also get esp hill launch assist and traction control system but this is available only in the automatic petrol top end variant and apart from that you also get something uh, like uh, other features like speed sensing auto door lock etc now fuel tank capacity for the petrol variant is 42 liters and for the diesel it is 40 liters ground clearance is 174 millimeters which is again very good uh, to tackle city conditions and boot space is 257 liters but you can make more room by folding flat the rear seat as you can see and uh, mileage claim is 25.83 kmpl for the diesel which is again phenomenal for the for the kind of performance it has on offer and uh, for the kind of driving dynamics it has on offer it is a lethal combination that kind of performance and this kind of fuel economy i don't think uh, you'll find it anywhere uh, around this price bracket so this is going to form a lethal combination combination and uh, it is a serious threat for the rest of the competition and it might even unsettle the entire scene here and and uh, for the petrol variant, it's around 18.16 kmpl. And price X showroom Hyderabad uh, for the petrol variant starts from 4 lakhs 38,764 rupees and goes up to 7 lakhs 5,116 rupees. For the diesel variant, uh, uh, the price starts from 5 lakhs 40,542 rupees and goes up to 7 lakhs 45,988 rupees. So that's pretty much it. I just hope you found this video useful. Until next time, this is Dino saying ciao. Take care, God bless, and drive safe.